Good morning, boys and girls. I want to invite you to our biggest adventure yet, Mikey Time, where children of all ages can come and play together with Mikey and Mimi and all their friends. So sit back while I take you on a guided tour of what will be the most joyous place on the planet. Norman. Come with me. Time for breakfast, right. sweetie. Okay, so I think we need to go this way. Everybody, we're gonna go this yeah. way over to the fruit stand. Okay, we're gonna ask somebody. To hide. Hi. Um, we're really lost, and we came that way the from the. Okay. It's All right. Hi. Hi. Gavin Sparks, kind of on this way. Oh. You need some help? Oh yes, we are very lost, okay. and we came, I think, from the Tunnel of Love, and we need uh -huh. to get to the Sea Dog. The Sea Dogs of the Pacific. <laughs> We're gonna get on the bus. There you go. I don't know what kind of a sick place you're running, but this is very traumatizing to children. Sorry, ma'am. Back to wardrobe now. You're fired. Hey, what are you guys laughing at? All right, let's back to work. Hey, Mr. Sparks, knock, knock. Who's there? Stone guy. Stone guy who? What? It's a hit, Bob. That's why you're still in the middle. Good morning, sir. Morning. I tell you something. Good, I good morning, Ted. Good day, Mr. Sparks. How was your trip? Did you fire Norman Hubbard? Norman Hubbard, sir? Mikey Muskrat Norman Hubbard. Oh, Mimi had Mikey. Yeah, sure did. Really scared the hell out of a group of school kids, so. Hey, you listen to me, you cocky little punk. Norman Hubbard is the very essence of Mikey Town. Over the last 20 years, he's made the guests feel like they were at the most joyous fucking place on the planet. Hell, he probably bounced you on his knee when you were just a little squirt visiting here with your mommy and daddy. With all due respect, Ted, it clearly states in the bylaws, failure to adhere to a character's dress code is grounds for immediate termination. Are you aware over the last 30 days, ticket sales are down and complaints to Mikey Town City Hall are up? Well, sir, I hardly think that one guy makes the difference. Just yesterday, three Mikeys were seen together in the haunted forest, one of them smoking and another one swearing. Mr. Sparks. I suggest if you see yourself having any sort of career, you get Norman Hubbard back to work by 8 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> 8 a.m. Sparks. Crazy old man. Isabella, you look gorgeous. Thank you, Ted. You keep up the morale in this company. Thank you. Hey, I need Hamilton from USN. Get him on the phone. Okay. Call personnel. I need Norman Hubbard back to work by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Right? Who's Norman Hubbard? Mikey Muskrat. You fired Mikey? Tashi wa kaigi ni iku junbi ga dekimashita. Don't tell me there are no scripts. We're storytellers. What do we tell stories about? That's right. Underdogs. Serial. On his way to work, I want him listening to USN radio. I want him reading the USN magazine while eating lunch out of his USN lunchbox. Look, make it happen. Sayonara. 
Hello. I'm going home now. Here's Norman Hubbard's file. Personnel tried to reach him all day. No answer. Good luck. See you tomorrow. Frickin' Norman Hubbard. You fired Mikey. What kind of a sick place are you working here? So that's why you're still in the mailroom, eh, Sparks? Back to work, though, Sparks. you doing in my house? Jesus Christ, Norman, you didn't answer your phone. What did you break in to steal, huh? Nothing. How about a mug? How about a plate? God, ow. What else do you want to steal, Sparks? You've already ruined my life. Knock it off, Norman. I came here to give you your job back. What did you say? You done throwing shit? I don't know. Are you full of it? Norman, I came here to let you know that we, that I, have decided to bring you back. Why? Well, even though you blew it and made me fire you. I made you fire me? Oh, Norman, you know Section G. I know the flippin' rules! Ow! Norman, I... I wouldn't have put the wrong hit on if I hadn't caught you making out with Janice! Janice who? Mimi Buscrat! I didn't make out with Mimi Buscrat. I was there, asshole! You take, take, take me! Oh, my God! Did you really come here to give me my job back? Yes. Why? Truth be told, the old man made me. Uh, Tolberg? One and only. What did he say? He said you were the essence of Mikey Town. Really? He said that about me? Yeah. What else did he say? It really matter, Norman. You got your job back. Yes, it really matters. Thanks to you, I lost the only thing in the world that made life worth living. Norman, I'm sorry about Janice. I didn't know. It's not Janice. I knew Janice was just working her way up the ladder. Then why'd you get so upset? Because outside of the suit, this is what you get. Of course, you wouldn't understand that, would you, Mr. Executive? What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, you've always gotten everything you want. Come on. I most certainly have not. Let me just guess. Boarding school, straight to Ivy League, straight to executive, huh? huh. Better get cleaned up before tomorrow. Not so fast, Sparks. What's this? Read it. 
Dear Mikey, last summer my family and I visited Mikey Town. I was very sick. My week at the park was so much fun, especially riding my favorite ride, the Sea Dogs of the Pacific. Thank you for the hug and the smiles, and I will see you next summer. I love you, Mikey. Love, Krista. I don't get it. You cut out answering fan mail from the budget. Another one of your brilliant executive decisions. I don't think I would do that. Yeah, you did. And now I'm going to lay out the deal. You're going to answer all that fan mail. And after every letter has been written, I'll suit up, Captain. You can't blackmail me. I think Ted would find all of this very interesting. Fine. I'll have someone come pick all this stuff up tomorrow. Oh, no. Dear Kristen, thank you for spending your summer vacation with me and my friends. Because of your wonderful letter, I moved the parade time 10 minutes later. So next summer, when you come back, you can do both. Also, when you come back, I'll give you an official Sea Dog hat. Thanks for writing, Kristen. Love, Mikey. P.S. See you next summer. Last whoa, one. Whoa, where did that come from? I found it at the back of the gremlin. No, 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 no. I need you back today. Oh, no, no, now. No, 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 right no, 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 no. We had a deal. Yeah, we had we're a deal. Stick to these bags. Is uh, everything okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Isabella, I want you to meet Norman Hubbard. Norman Hubbard? Isabella. Hello. Hi. So, you know, there's a great sushi joint around the corner. Maybe you two can grab lunch sometime. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, excuse me, I have work to do. Um, see you later, Norman. <laughs> I want to raise in my own dressing room. You're crazy. Uh, like a fox. Ah, uh, Norman, Ted. welcome back. <laughs> oh, hi there, Ted. Hey. How are you? Where did all this fan mail come from? Huh? Fine. Gentlemen, I believe I will go suit up. <laughs> no matter the battle, he can't be right. He will come through in the end. He's a tiny little muskrat, but ferocious like a bobcat when alone to right is coming around the bend. No matter the battle, he can't be right. He will come through in the end. Friends and family by his side, he can take it all in stride like a stronger with a helping hand to lend. Mikey, muskrat, king of the underdog. Mikey, muskrat, join and sing along. Mikey, muskrat, he always knows what's right. Mikey, muskrat, a muskrat made of might. Now some may say, wow, he's just a little muskrat. How can Mikey possibly be so strong? But from the whispers on his face, down he falls up into place. Mikey always manages to right the wrong. Now he's somebody you can't walk by without singing hi. Somebody you will not see unhappy. Somebody that can make your whole day better. Somebody that will warm your soul like a sweater. Mikey, muskrat, king of the underdog. Mikey, muskrat, come on, join and sing along. Mikey, muskrat, he always knows what's right. Mikey. Muskrat, a muskrat made of mites. <laughs>